Something big is coming. Something the Big Bang Theory never predicted. The James Webb Space Telescope has found over 30,000 ancient galaxies, including a mammoth cosmic disk dubbed the Big Wheel that existed less than 2 billion years after everything was supposed to begin. These galaxies shouldn't be there, not this early, and certainly not with this much mass or order. If that's not enough, new evidence hints that dark energy itself might change over time, and measurements of our universe's expansion simply don't agree. Are we on the verge of rewriting the origin of everything? The stakes have never been higher, and what happens next could shake the entire field of cosmology. So, how deep do these anomalies go? A single galaxy, spotted by the James Webb Space Telescope, has become the poster child for this cosmic puzzle. Astronomers call it the Big Wheel. Its light began traveling toward us more than 12 billion years ago. Yet what reaches us now is a fully formed galactic disk, spinning with the poise of a modern super spiral. The numbers are startling. The Big Wheel stretches roughly 30,000 parsecs across, about three times wider than the Milky Way at the same cosmic age. Its mass rivals our own galaxy, but it reached that size less than 2 billion years after the Big Bang. Even more striking, the Big Wheel rotates at speeds matching the fastest spiral galaxies seen today, suggesting a stable, mature structure where chaos should rule. According to leading cosmological models, galaxies from this era were supposed to be small, misshapen, and still assembling. Yet the Big Wheel's disk is smooth and orderly, its spiral arms already carved out, its stars moving in a coordinated dance. The odds of finding such a massive, well-organized disk so soon after the universe's beginning were thought to be less than 2%. But here it is, undeniable, immense, and spinning. The Big Wheel stands as a direct contradiction to the slow-build timeline predicted by the Standard Model, forcing astronomers to ask, if one such galaxy exists, how many more are we missing? And what does its very presence say about the rules that have shaped the cosmos since the dawn of time? Recently, astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope carried out one of the largest surveys ever attempted of the early universe. Within just the first year, Webb's deep fields revealed over 30,000 candidate galaxies at redshifts greater than six, meaning their light began its journey less than a billion years after the Big Bang. These numbers dwarf what the leading cosmological models had forecast. According to Lambda Cold Dark Matter Theory, the early universe should have produced far fewer bright, well-formed galaxies in that era. Simulations based on Lambda CDM, like Illustrious TNG and Millennium, predicted that only a handful of massive galaxies should exist in the entire observable volume at these early times. Instead, Webb's census suggests a sky teeming with mature systems each burning with hundreds of millions or even billions of stars. The mismatch isn't just about raw counts. When modelers ran the numbers, they found another problem. The efficiency of star formation implied by these observations is off the charts. For galaxies this abundant and bright to exist so early, they must have converted their gas into stars at rates two to three times higher than the maximum predicted by standard theory. In local galaxies, only about 10 to 20% of available gas typically becomes stars. But the early universe, as glimpsed by Webb, seems to demand efficiencies of 30, 40, even 50%, sometimes more. These are not scattered outliers. Across the entire population, the trend holds. Astrophysicists like Michael Boylan Colchin and Garth Illingworth have pointed out that to match the observed numbers, Either the universe assembled its first galaxies with unprecedented speed, or something is missing from our current understanding of cosmic evolution. The challenge is now systemic. It's not just one big wheel, it's a whole generation of massive, well-formed galaxies appearing billions of years ahead of schedule. The numbers force a simple question. If the models can't keep up with the data, is it the simulations that need tweaking, or is it time to rethink the rules that govern the early cosmos? DC's latest results have turned the spotlight onto dark energy, the mysterious force thought to drive the universe's accelerating expansion. The collaboration analyzed spectra from nearly 15 million galaxies and quasars, building the largest three-dimensional map of the cosmos ever assembled. Their approach used baryon acoustic oscillations as a kind of cosmic ruler, measuring how the distribution of galaxies changes over time. 
What they found was subtle, but the implications are enormous. Dassey's data show that dark energy strength, described by the parameter W, may not be fixed at minus one as the standard model assumes. Instead, the numbers hint at a drift. From about minus 1.4 in the distant past to roughly minus 0.7 today, with a statistical confidence reaching 4 sigma. This means the force pushing the universe apart could be weakening as time goes on, a direct contradiction to the idea of a cosmological constant. If these results hold, dark energy isn't a static property of space. It may be dynamic, evolving as the universe ages. That possibility would upend the foundation of the Lambda CDM model, which treats dark energy as unchanging. For decades, cosmologists have relied on this constant to explain everything from the cosmic microwave background to the large-scale structure of galaxies. But DC's evidence points to a universe where the rules themselves may be shifting beneath our feet. The next question is obvious. If dark energy is changing, what does that mean for our measurements of the universe's expansion? Two decades ago, cosmologists believed they had pinned down the universe's expansion rate to within a few percent. But the cracks have only widened. Today, two numbers stand in stark opposition. 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec, calculated from patterns left in the cosmic microwave background by the Planck satellite, and 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec, measured from local galaxies using Cepheid stars and supernovae. This isn't a minor disagreement. The difference stands at about 8%, far exceeding the error bars, especially now that the James Webb Space Telescope has weighed in. Adam Rees, a Nobel laureate and leader of the SHRES team, has spent years refining the local measurement. With Webb's sharper vision, his group recalibrated Cepheid distances for a third of the Hubble sample. The result? A local Hubble constant of 73.5 with an error margin under 2%. That's nearly identical to previous Hubble results, but the precision is now so high that systematic errors can't explain the gap. Every galaxy measured by both telescopes, every supernova cross-checked, points to the same conclusion. The expansion rate seen locally is faster than what early universe models predict. Meanwhile, Planck's cosmic microwave background measurements, interpreted through the lens of the Lambda CDM model, remain locked at 67.4. The two values refuse to budge toward each other, even as observational techniques grow more sophisticated. The tension is no longer a statistical fluke or a calibration oversight. With JWST's confirmation, the mismatch is baked into the data. That leaves theorists with a dilemma. Either something fundamental is missing from the standard cosmological model, or the universe behaves differently than expected on the largest scales. For now, the numbers stand as a challenge, demanding new ideas that can bridge the gulf between the universe's earliest moments and what we observe today. David Wiltshire's Timescape Cosmology proposes that the universe's patchwork structure, dense clusters and sprawling voids, creates a hidden complexity in the flow of time itself. In this model, time does not tick at the same pace everywhere. Regions packed with galaxies, like the Milky Way's neighborhood, experience gravity's pull so strongly that their clocks run measurably slower compared to the vast, empty voids. Calculations show that a clock inside a galaxy can lag behind one in a cosmic void by as much as 35% over the age of the universe. That means billions more years would have passed for an observer adrift in emptiness than for one anchored inside a dense cluster. The Pantheon Plus supernova dataset, when analyzed without assuming a uniform cosmic clock, reveals that this time differential isn't just a mathematical curiosity. The data provide very strong statistical support, Bayes factors well above 5, for the timescape scenario over the standard cosmological constant model. In this view, the apparent acceleration of cosmic expansion emerges from the way time stretches and contracts across the cosmic web, not from a mysterious dark energy. The result is a universe where the rules change depending on where you measure them, and where the illusion of acceleration might be nothing more than the outcome of living in a slow-ticking corner of the cosmos. A new pattern has surfaced in the data. The spins of early galaxies are not evenly split. Out of hundreds measured at high redshift, about two-thirds turn clockwise, while only a third spin the other way. 
That's a 66 to 33% split, with a statistical significance reaching 3.39 sigma, well beyond what chance alone would predict. This skew isn't limited to one patch of sky or a single survey. Instead, it hints at a cosmic preference, as if the universe itself remembers a direction set long before the first stars ignited. Some theorists see this as more than a statistical quirk. They propose that such a large-scale alignment could be the fingerprint of our universe's birth. If the cosmos began inside a rotating black hole, a scenario explored by physicists like Nikodem Poplowski, the initial spin would imprint a preferred axis on everything that formed inside. In this view, the leftover angular momentum from that primordial rotation could guide the way galaxies spin even billions of years later. The idea is radical, but the numbers demand attention. If a black hole universe sets the cosmic clock, then the spiral patterns traced by ancient galaxies are not just random, they're echoes of a deeper, hidden order. For now, the evidence stands as an open invitation. Either the early universe followed rules stranger than we imagined, or our entire cosmic story began with a twist. Alternative ideas, from Timescape Cosmology's 35% time rate differential to the 66% spin alignment among early galaxies, highlight just how many open questions remain. Despite decades of progress, current observations expose deep inconsistencies in our understanding of the universe's origins and evolution. As more JWST data arrives, the debate over the Big Bang model is driven by evidence, not speculation. For now, the universe remains more complex and more surprising than any single theory can explain.